Hello everybody and welcome back to our Renegade playthrough of Mass Effect. Alright, so I need to go down here because I need to head to C-Sec. And I need to go to the wards. Now the jellyfish, last week we couldn't actually get the jelly to move how I wanted the jelly to move. I don't actually want to power to do it the Renegade way. But I need I to up, level it up. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. the docking bay which I can go down I hmm okay if I want to go down this way let's go this way first I want to explore everywhere talk to everybody do everything I need to do Oh, this guy doesn't even hear. Meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me detail. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I think I'll be going. Oh, all right then. Oh, it's you again! It's not they really... still won't believe me, you know. I just, that's it. Nobody believes oh, but what? me. What? What won't anybody believe? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Can't help you. I don't have time for this right now. All right. You're not the first one to say so. Goodbye, then. Oh, it's you. Did you change your mind? Do you have time to help me now? <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, sure. What did you need? I just want someone to talk to my colleague. He's been acting strange and I think he wants to kill me. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. If I find out he's lied to me... Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Charlie to Troublemaker. There's nobody in there yet. Do 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 do. Codex. I think that's all of them up here, isn't it? No, there's one more. 
Is that it? Yeah, that's all of them up here. Okay. Let's get down. Seasick officer. Let's talk to Seasick officer. Hello, Commander. Can't help you right now. Okay. You ain't gonna help. Fair enough. We'll continue on our own then. Let's get the n the opposite direction to this. Then we'll go. Let's go to the docks, maybe. We'll go this way. Then we'll get docks. Then we'll go down there. The reason I'm gonna get the docks is because I've got the keeper to scan. Oh, the requisition off. Really, I should come back here in a bit, shouldn't I? One sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Let's have a look. Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Obviously, I'm going to come back and... I ain't got no money at the moment, but we're going to have a look at... Oh, I can get grenade upgrade. And that. A comparison. That is better than what we've already got, Hydra. Actually, Williams has got better than us. Should I get two? No. That is better than Kaiden's have as well. If I get it for Kaiden. I can't afford that one now. Oops. Uh squad. Oop, no map squad. No uh, equipment. There we go. I can't, like, I can't. I can't actually put these on yet until we've leveled up, but I can put that on. That's the only one with the N7 on. I think we got. I'm not going to use half these weapons. Grenades, we'll keep that. Omni tool. What's she got? That's damage protection 17, Hydra medium. I can give her that one. Or not. I've already brought him that one, haven't I? That's the one I'm giving him. Yeah, that'll do. Am I going to give her one? Do I give her a new one? And then we, you just wait a little bit. 17. It's not really massively good. Look at the tech, though. Tech's gone down on that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yep, I need to get down. I'm gonna get towards the docks so that we In can. In light of the recent sort of attack out. on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I'm gonna skip the elevator rides because you always get dialogue. Do 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 do. Oh, 
Right, let's head down to Cora's Den. It's where we'll meet our newest member. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Right, down we go to the lovely depths of the citadel. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice, solid armor and a big gun. Point taken. Officer Lang, so keeper, public extranet, let's talk to Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. See you around, Lang. We haven't, finished a bit. we haven't got time to finish talking to you. You have Nebula. Oh, there's one of the, there's one of the keepers. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did you okay, end up he only says one thing to I, her. I chose to keep the I'll be going. Okay, we'll see you later. We'll come back to you once we've... Well, unlock the next mission. Because we do have to come back here. In not so long, I don't think. So we came up those stairs. Commander, 
Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. I see, Commander. I apologize. Do we not get any Renegade points for that? Being a jerk. Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it. But they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I should be going. As you say, Earth Clan, good date. Is that really. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Well done, Shepard. That's how you get rid of them. You be rude. That is all I'm getting so far from the Shepard. He's just rude. Nothing major yet. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. 
Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all this fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I'm guessing we're gonna get more and more brutal as the game progresses. Hello there, welcome to Moorland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. That's where we gotta go. I wanna go this way first because I want to get the keepers scanned before we do anything else, get out of the way and then come back. Remember, there is still one back where we were before. I'm back in the council chambers. I just didn't have time. That's him. Jenna, speak to her. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. I got business here, but not with you. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Zoraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Here we go. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Good. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? 
Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a C-Sec officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance ranks so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You got off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. I'm out of here. And yeah, oh, I level up. I, know, I keep getting the bloody gun out for some reason. I'm crazy. Can't do anything else with Intimidate. Try to charm, so I'm gonna go with tactical armor. Shield boost. Um, 
Let's go. Assault training. And you, let's go with decryption. And then I can start doing from and barrier for him. Well, let's go and find Garrus and Rex. First one going this way. Actually, no, I can go this way, can't I? We can go this way to it. It leads to the same place. Scenic view observe. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? How can they keep tabs on all of this? Presidia may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. That's better. It's starting to work for us. All right, no, that's, that leads, that's the flux, isn't it? Okay, I haven't got to go there yet, so I'm not going to go there. I want to go and get Garrus, which we can then get him to join us. And then I'm going to go back to C-Sec to go and get our other companion that I want to take with us. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Oh, what a shot. Now it gets fun. Get down. I have a grenade. Hello. Anybody else? No, of course, I killed them all. Perimeter secure. Kaboom. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago... A Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. 
She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. You can come along, but I'll be watching you. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, so obviously I'm going to bring Garrus. And for now, Ashley, because she's more... She's more the sort of character that we're going to be using because she's more renegade than Kaiden. Kaiden's more like balancing. He's not gonna be a friendlier character right let's talk to Chloe I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs commander I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there stick to medicine you're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist that's good advice I'll be going now goodbye commander I let's don't go. need supplies yet when I need supplies and I've got enough money then obviously we'll come and do some shopping Right, let's head to CSEC Academy because I want to go and grab Rex before we go before we come back and deal with them guys. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hanar and funny. They're always causing problems. Oh, which way? This way. I know it's way. There's Rex. Rex! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. He's a badass. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. Heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Uh, of course, we're gonna be picking Garrus and Rex for this one. Let's go and speak with Fist. I'll go back down here, actually. Cora's den it is. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Uh, which way? Is it? Oh, it's straight on, isn't it? Straight on. Cora's den. 
Yeah, I'm not going there yet to the flux. I don't need to go there. Not yet anyway. I think we can still send the information to Emily if we want to, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Right, we didn't really get much of a renegade conversation from speaking to her. But I thought saying no would get us renegade point. I don't think it does. I'm not 100% sure it does anyway. So we're just going to continue. I, I'll do some conversations. I won't do any of like the happy, happy choices. If it does come to that. But if, I, if there is a renegade option, obviously I will select it. Here we go. Get ready to fight. Looks like it's shut down. Now it's fine. I'm on it. Dude up there. Shoot them all. Yeah. Yo, who's using that? Someone's using bone. Well, picks, aren't they? It was that. Incoming! Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, God, screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Yeah, good. Walk away. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Sometimes it is. That's good. Why do I have to do everything myself? Time to die, those soldiers. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Exactly. Get to the quarian and one before it's too late. Let's do this first though. I don't want to miss anything. Because I don't think I can come back here anywhere later. Right. Let's get out of here. Do 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 
burn for him. The shield's gonna be. Do 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 Quarry on lost in three minutes. I wonder if you could actually lose it because I've never filed this but I wonder if you could actually lose her here. What would happen? Is it just gonna be game over? I shot him. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. She's already a badass. Oh, no. Alright. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. 
The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I think this is more than you can handle. She's already survived a run-in with the Geth Shepherd, and we need all the help we can get. Take her with you. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Um, <clears throat> I think we should take Garrus and Erdnock. Tally will be there anyway, won't I, because of the evidence? I think she will anyway. Oh yeah, got again. Oh, before I finish this video, let's go and hand in this quest over here. Because I'm nearly finished with this one. And then we'll do some more next week. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. And he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Yes, she will. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth and from this with story. that being completed, I'm going to finish this video here. I've got a lot of time left and we can continue the rest next week. Happy with that? We've done a couple of Renegade things. Not loads, but... We're getting there, more and more options becoming available for us, and I'm thinking after we become a Spectre, we can use that to get rid of the jelly, which is another renegade thing. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.